Um, what did you a Yeti deck too? I saw this. Somebody at Masters with this. So you're ripping a bunch of Yetis and um, yeah. Looks kind of sweet. Tiana. You got buffed, so. Tiana, some of the rally cards, and uh, yeah. Some fucking Yetis. Let's run it. Is this gonna be like the unkillable barrel deck? That's a banger deck. Mm, I, I feel weird about keeping the uh, Riders and the Yeti. I feel like I will, but I don't necessarily like it a lot because when you're on evens, you really want to play Yeti on turn four. And if you're playing Yeti on turn four, you're not playing Outriders on turn four. Even though this card's better the earlier that you play it. Scavenger, which is not online. Kind of sucks. Scavenger is so good in this deck because you just keep Battle Fury every time. Sentry is playable. I don't have a three. Sure. I need the Tall Tales mana so I can do it with the Yeti. The Rider of Wolves. Oh man. Will they keep KDA cards after they finish this fence? I'm not sure. I'm not a mathematician, but I would hope that they would. Too cute. They're actually really good card backs too. Oh my god, he plays that card as well. Insane. Gets a 5-5 five, five with Scout. 5-5 five with Scout cannot match my 5-5 five, five Yeti though. He pays 6 mana for a 5-5, five, five. I pay 3 mana for 1. Get wrecked. Dab. Money. The first keg. Okay. I kind of just want to rip the Outriders, honestly. Nice. Hit the Allegiance. Play the 1-1 one -one as well for more buffs. I don't think like the Rally matters so much. It's unlikely you're going to win. Holy fuck, what a chonker. Slamming that. Just rip an attack here like this. Should be good. Holy shit, this guy's insane. I kind of feel bad for him. Because I'm just going to rally and win now. And I remember trying to make this deck work. It's really hard. Because there's dumb shit like this in the game. It still exists for some reason. He's going to play three mana and just attack again. You really just don't get to have fun with these kegs. This is not happen. Kind of sucks. Take an easy dub though. Let's go. GG's. But then the fucking guy goes on, keeps on playing the game. And then I just like fucking hard carry him. And he just shuts the fuck up, dude. And the entire game too, this idiot Hecarim like enemy on the entire team was calling me like boosted diamond and telling me I was dog shit. And then I just like triple killed him at one point And I just typed in all chat like, hey man, you good? You got this on? Can't talk shit anymore. Like, I I can't believe people in this game, dude. Like, you start talking shit when you win, and then you, when you lose, you shut the fuck up, dude. Like, these guys are actually just the biggest pussies. And dog shit players like this telling me to get banned the entire game and getting fucking carried when there's just, like, shitter Seraphine supports that do absolutely nothing all game? Like, oh, man. Why are you guys even playing flex mode? Like, have you heard of how, having fucking fun in a video game before? No, I guess I haven't. Miss me at that shit, man. This is a banger hand. Actually a banger hands. I have Yeti into Battle Fury on turn five. Insane. And I'm on odds. One of the best hands I could possibly have, I think. League is toxic. League is not toxic. Some of the dumbasses that play the game though, they are. Two mana, four, three. Look at that. Insane. He only played a two mana, three, three. Not as insane. Okay. I actually just attack the pass here because I want to save spell mana instead of playing the two drop. So I can go four mana Yeti and then have three spell mana on turn five. So I can just open attack with Yeti and play a battle fury on it. It's a five head play. It's probably one of my most favorite plays to make as of yet. You just play like a big Yeti and you just give him like literally plus eight four. 
And then you have like a 13-9 over one card on turn five attack. That's a very satisfying play. Kind of just so happens that whenever you play Yeti decks, you do a lot better when you have more Yetis. That's kind of confusing that that's the way that it is, but it really is the way that it is. Sometimes it's just how it goes. Is the value trade to make him trade his bad cards in these? Maybe better. I prefer this actually. Okay, watch this. He's done eight damage to me so far, right? Kind of a nice number. It feels like it's okay. Eight damage is a decent amount. But I'm about to rip him with this. 13-8. Overwhelm. Turn five. Even if he had vengeance, he literally could not even play it. I don't know, man. I don't know. Unspeakable horror. That's really cute. Still doing 10 damage to him. Mm. That's some damage. Hit him with some cute emotes. Oh, he's sucking me. Oh, those are some cool shades. Where do I get me some of those? Goddamn. Okay. Ooh, this guy's trying to go attack mode one time against me. I will play too many Yeti. Boom. Defense mode. Holy, this guy's going super attack mode here. Go two mana card that does stuff. I could also get a 5-5 five five here as well. Always get 5-5. Five five. Probably play this actually and then go 5-5. Five five. Cause my 1-1 one one can block the 3-2s. Is this a bond if I don't block? Which he can't even play. Might then? With the Elixir of Wrath? If they run that. I would have lost you. I now play this card. Imagine summoning a 5 5 Yeti when I could just go attack mode. Kind of crazy. I don't play too much Demacia, so I forget about this imbalanced ability to just make it your attack phase out of nowhere for 3 mana. Crazy how that works, right? But yeah, we can do that. Go attack mode, just win the game. Yeah. Yeti's are pretty good. What can I say? Keep the ancient one in the battle fury cards in your hand and you're going to find great success. Your English is pretty good, dude. It's um, it's better than how I would speak whatever language you use is native, whatever your native language is. I don't know why that was so hard to say. But yeah, don't uh, don't feel like you have to apologize for your poor English. Because you type pretty well. The double ancient yeti hand. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Yetis for days, gentlemen. Yetis for days. A Tiana. Mm. Yes, please. Buff Tiana. Mm. Quick little two damage. Tough here is so nuts, man. Easy money. Double Trappa. We'd be trapping all day. Uh-oh. Grasp? Ooh, go hard. Okay. I dig it. This is probably a Rune Donation deck. Should not be that fun? Best counter to our deck is the Rune Donation card. Because I try to go wide on turn 6 when I want to attack, and then this guy's like, Uh, no, man. You actually don't get to go wide, unfortunately. Or he does stuff like that, and then gets cards that block my cards. And I'm also not fans of that either. My dumb cards do dumb things here. Just die and don't do any damage. Kind of sad. Okay, now. Rider of Wolf, okay. Yes, this guy definitely wants to do the Rune Nation thing, I think. So, I will play big cards, I think, still. Maybe just do these two instead of the Ancient Yeti. I feel like that's better. Because then I still have, like, good develop as cheap for refill. Well. Okay. He's trying to stay healthy. Could also just be the case that he does not have the Room Indonation card. Which would be less than ideal for him, for sure. Okay, box five. It's a Rune Nation type of look, I think. No, it's a Karma play. 
I will ramp, I think. I like ramp a lot because then I can slam Tiana next round and then we just do stuff. Spear of Blackness, okay, we just lose to that. If I lose to that, I mean, I just play a two mana 5-5 five, five Yeti and then we're fine. Yeah. Uh, at this point, like, we kind of did the Runation uh, test and so we said that he doesn't have it, so I'm just going to develop next round. By develop, I mean play an 8 mana card that gives me the attack token and win. He also doesn't have spell mana, so he literally can't do it no matter what. Which I realized. Yes, thank you. Feast of Vials, okay. He plays Feast of Vile card, I go Tiana attack mode card. Mmm, Rally with these cards feels so good. Absolutely out of this world. It allows you to go attack mode at a rate that you would never have expected you could go attack mode. It's kind of just like one, two, bang, boom. And you're on. That's such a cute karma attack, wow. So cute. Look at that. A little cute karma attacking. Aww. <gasps> That's actually really good for him. I got baited. I might not have lethal now. <laughs> I, sh I should sell lethal. <laughs> nice whimsy bait, though. That was clean. <laughs> I, I got baited to the fucking, I don't know, end of the world and back, man. Still a quick little six overkill. GG's.